Hello yogis! Welcome to today's practice, which is a practice to transition into the season of autumn. During this time of year, it's not uncommon for more airy and spacey energy to be more in abundance. And so you might feel that if you're feeling more anxious, more ungrounded, or a little more overwhelmed as we transition into the autumn season. And so today's practice is to help balance out that airy, spacey energy with a calming and grounding practice. So we will get started today in a seated forward fold to help us tune inwards. So find your seat and take your legs out in front of you. Maybe wiggle out your legs a little bit. Sit up nice and tall, take a nice deep breath in. And then as you exhale, start to fold forward, hinge from the waist. And then once you find your natural stopping point, you can go ahead and round through your head and your neck. And take your hands, palms facing upwards by your side. Use this pose to start to tune into your breath. As you inhale, filling up your torso with air. And exhale, contracting back down, your navel draws back towards your spine. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, start to slowly walk back upright and pause here for a moment. Bring your legs into a cross legged seat and inhale your arms down around and up overhead. And exhale, take a seated twist. Twist to your left, so your right hand will come to your left knee, and your left hand just comes behind you to help prop you up. Inhale, and then exhale, twist a little deeper from the core. So make sure not to twist or yank too far. We just want a nice gentle twist to start. Inhale, and exhale back to center. On your next inhale, once again, take your arms up overhead, and exhale, twist to the right. So your left hand will come to your right knee, and your right hand will come behind you to gently prop yourself upright. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. And then exhale, twist from your center.
and gently release back to center. Roll over your feet, come to tabletop. And then start to do your cat cows. Inhale, taking your tailbone up to the ceiling, opening up through your collarbones. And exhale, rounding through your spine. And inhale through cow. And exhale through cat. Keep moving with your own breath. Moving nice and slow to warm up the spine. Then come back to center. Tuck your toes under and take your hips up and back to your downward facing dog. Pedal out your legs, so let one heel drop towards the mat and then the other. And then find some stillness, bend your knees. And then start to walk up to the front of your mat, forward fold, and hang out here for a couple breaths. So maybe grab opposite elbows and sway side to side. Release your arms back down. Inhale, lift up to a flat back. And exhale, fold. Inhale, roll up to standing nice and slow. And when you get there, take your arms down around and up overhead. And exhale, sit back in your chair. Hold for one more breath, inhale, and then exhale, release back to your forward fold. And inhale up to a flat back, and exhale, fold. Plant your palms, step back to your plank pose, or you can take a half plank with your knees on the ground. Hold for a breath, inhale. And then as you exhale, lower your knees to the mat, and then start to lower your chest down as well. Take your hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, press up to cobra. And exhale, release. And press up and back to your downward dog. Inhale your right leg up to a three-legged dog. And as you exhale, shift forward. Bring in your knee to nose and hold here. And then bring your foot through the rest of the way to a low lunge. So we're going to start by lowering our back knee. And if you have blocks handy, you can use them on either side of your foot. Or if you don't have blocks, you can always just come up and rest your hands gently on your knees. Plant your left palm on the mat, twist towards your right leg, and reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. Twist. And release back down. Plant your palm. Come back to a plank or a half plank. Before making your way back to your downward dog. And inhale your left leg up to a three-legged dog. Exhale, shift forward, pausing here, knee to nose. And then bringing your foot through to your low lunge on the left side.
and plant your right palm on the mat, twist towards your left leg, taking your left arm up towards the ceiling. And back to frame your foot. Once again, coming back to plank. Holding for a breath before pressing up and back to your downward dog. This time, start to walk towards the back of your mat. Forward fold. And inhale up to a flat back. And exhale, fold. And roll up to standing. Nice and slow. Take your arms down, around, and up overhead. And exhale, sit back in your chair. Hold for two more breaths this time. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Release back down to your mat. Inhale up to a flat back. And exhale. Fold. Bend your knees. Walk back out to your downward dog. Inhale your left leg up to a three-legged dog. Exhale, shift forward, knee to nose. Pause here for a moment. And then bring your foot through for a high lunge on the left side. Once again, you can take your blocks here. And then take your right hand to the mat. Left arm up, twist towards the left. And release back down. This time, we'll be coming into Warrior Two. So start to pivot on your back heel. And cartwheel your arms down, around, and up overhead. Coming into Warrior Two on the left. And once you get up, you might need to readjust your stance a little. And so check out your alignment. Does your right arch bisect your front left heel? Take a nice bend through your left knee. And is your left knee tracking over your toes, or is it kind of inwards? We want it to be tracking over the toes. And then take your arms out wide into a T. Look wherever is comfortable, and keep holding your warrior two. And flip your left palm up, reach forwards around and back. Coming into reverse warrior, take your right hand, kickstand on your right leg, and take your left arm up overhead. Keep a bend through your left knee. And reach back up. Take a side angle now. Left elbow to left knee, or if you prefer, to a block on the inside, or some people prefer outside of your foot. And right arm up overhead. And release back upright. Go ahead and straighten through your left leg for a moment. And then cartwheel your arms back down and around. Come back to frame your foot in a high lunge. And then if you need to lower your back knee or not, come into plank or half plank. Hold for a breath. And then press up and back to your downward dog. And this time on the right side, inhale your right leg up. Exhale, shift forward, knee to nose. Hold here. And then bring your foot through for a high lunge on the right side. Plant your left palm and twist towards the right, right arm up. And 
and release back down to frame your foot. Coming into warrior two on the right, pivot your left foot and cartwheel your arms down around and up. And I'll turn around to face you. Once again, checking out your alignment, making sure your knee is tracking over your toes, having a nice bend through your right knee. Hold for two more breaths, inhale, and exhale, last one. And flip your right palm, reach forwards up and around, reverse warrior, kick standing your left hand onto your left leg, and your right hand comes up overhead. And side angle, right elbow kick stands on right knee, or you can use a block. And left hand up overhead. And release back upright once again, straightening through your right knee for just a moment. And then cartwheeling your arms back down and around, coming back to your high lunge. Plant your palms, come back to a plank. Inhale, and then exhale, lower down to the ground. Hands underneath your shoulders, inhale up to cobra. And exhale, release. And press up and back, take a child's pose. Feet together, knees apart. Walk your hands forward and take your head to the mat or to a block. And walk your hands over to the left side of your mat. And walk your hands through center and over to the right. And back to center. Stay here as long as you would like, maybe for another breath, or maybe for longer. But when you're ready, press back up to your tabletop, and then come to a seat. And again, if you have blocks and you'd like those for the, your next part, you can go ahead and grab them. Take your legs wide. We're coming into a wide leg seated forward fold. Sometimes it's helpful to sit up on a block or a folded blanket if you find in this pose that you're kind of tilting backwards or if it's really uncomfortable to sit upright. Having a block to sit up on for this can be really helpful. Otherwise, you might also just want a block to let your head rest onto here as well. So come to your seat, inhale. And then exhale, start to walk your hands forward. And once you find that natural stopping point of your body, you can stay here. Or if you prefer, you can round through your spine and let your head hang heavy. So if you would like a block here, 
it would just look like this. That's kind of nice to have something to rest your head on. And if your hamstrings are tight, just find a little bend in your knees. Maybe bring your legs a little closer together. This doesn't have to be an extreme stretch. Just something that allows you to turn inwards. And take a nice deep inhale. And exhale, start to come back upright, nice and slow. Now bring your left heel in, bend your knee, and we'll take a rotated head to knee stretch. So this will be a side body stretch. So just let your right hand come to rest on your leg. Again, you can have that bend in your knee if you need to. Flex through your foot. Maybe take right palm up. Reach your left arm up and overhead, stretching to the right. You'll find that your right arm just kind of goes where it's comfortable for you. So maybe that just stays on your leg. Maybe you need to help kind of put your hand on the ground to help support yourself. Maybe it comes to the front of you. Nice and slowly releasing back upright, pressing yourself upright if you need to. And then before we go to the other side, take your torso facing your right leg. So now we're taking a front folding stretch instead of a side body stretch. Inhale your arms up overhead, again flexing through your foot. And as you exhale, start to fold over your right leg, just finding your natural stopping point. And then rounding through your head and your neck. And nice and gently pressing back upright. And take your left leg out long and bring your right heel in. Starting with our revolved head to knee pose. Inhale. And as you exhale, start to tilt over to the left. Your right arm comes up and around overhead. And again, your left hand just rests wherever is helpful for you. That can look like many different things. And try and get your chest upwards towards the ceiling so we have a nice revolved posture. You might notice this side is different from the other side. 
either in terms of how easeful it is to twist or maybe what you're feeling in your side body. And nice and gently pressing back up. And turn your torso to face your left leg. Flexing through your left foot. Inhaling your arms up overhead. And exhale, folding forward over your left leg. And nice and gently pressing back upright. And then from here, coming down to the ground. Once you get there, bring your knees into your chest to start. Maybe rock side to side. And then we'll come into bridge pose. Bring your heels closer to your seat. And then that might be too close, so then walk them out a little bit. And take your hands flat on the mat to start. Tuck your pelvis under, and from there, start to roll the rest of the way upright into your bridge. If you'd like, you can have a block here underneath your sacrum for supported bridge. If that's more comfortable, it'll bring bridge down if you're on the lowest setting. Otherwise, press your hands into the mat. You can also have a block in between your inner thighs. Squeeze the block, and that'll help you in your bridge pose. Hold for one more breath, and then nice and gently release back down, and once again, bringing your knees into your chest. And then from here, we'll come into reclined pigeon. And if you prefer pigeon upright, you are more than welcome to do that, but I'll be walking you through reclined pigeon. That's the one I prefer for more relaxing, restorative classes. So take your left leg up, and then cross your left ankle over your right knee. Stay here with your right foot on the ground. Or lift your right leg up. Thread your hands through your legs. And grab behind your right leg. And once you're comfortable, you can close down the eyes. Gently release your foot back down if you had it lifted and uncross your left leg. Take your right leg up into the air and then cross your right ankle over your left knee. Stay here with your left foot on the ground or lift up your left leg and grab behind your leg.
Release your leg back down, uncross. Let your knees fall to one side. And then up and over to the other side, just windshield wipering back and forth. And then from here, come into your Shavasana, either with your feet on the floor, knees bent inwards towards each other, or legs stretched out long. Arms by your side, palms facing upwards. And we'll be here for a few minutes, so I'll cue you again when it's time to move again, and we will end our practice together.
take a nice deep breath in and a long exhale out. Start to bring some movement back. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Move your arms and your legs. Inhale your arms up overhead for a full body stretch. And then roll to one side and pause there for a few breaths. Gently press yourself back upright, find a comfortable seat, and just sit in the afterglow of your practice for a moment. Circle your arms down around and up overhead, and then exhale them down to your heart center. Bow your head to your heart. Take a nice deep breath in. And exhale, blink your eyes back open. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today. I hope you're feeling more grounded and more settled. I hope you have a great rest of your day.